are recording. Okay, welcome back. Um, I'm here again with Miss Lumsden. Hi there. And Mr. Perry. Yup, what's up? And this time we're going to talk about how a cathode ray oscilloscope works. Now this is work, works on the basis of a cathode ray tube. That was the last thing. Which is the last thing we looked at. Uh, it uses a beam of electrons, but this time the electrons go through Y plates and X plates, which we'll see in a moment, which can bend those electrons, the beam of electrons, to make a pattern on the screen. So let's go for it. This is what a cathode ray oscilloscope looks like. Uh, it has a Y gain, or a voltage scale, and it also has a time base. And we're going to see how both of those things work now. Uh, there's a screen too. You and didn't... there's a screen, which is very important. So at the moment, we're going to have a look at zero volts. There's no, no signal going into the, the Y, and the time base is on zero, which means that you get a dot on the middle of the screen. So that's where the electrons hit the screen, right? And That's where the electrons are aimed by default. Yeah. So you get a nice dot on the screen where it lights up. Uh, now we're going to leave the voltage scale on zero, but we're going to change the time base. So we're going to basically alter the x-axis, um, which is the, the, by putting a voltage across the x plates. So the electrons are being bent between the plates, right. like backwards and forwards. As each plate goes positive, then negative, positive, then negative, the electron beam is deflected one way and then the other, one way and then the other, which makes it look like a solid horizontal line. So I see it goes one way quite slowly, but then it quickly flicks back the other way? That's correct. Okay. Um, the next thing we're going to look at after that is when we change the time base back to zero and we put a battery, a simple DC voltage across the uh, Y axis. So now, instead of the electrons being deflected left and right horizontally, they're going to be deflected vertically by the Y plates. And in this case, with a simple DC voltage, they're just bent up towards the top of the screen. And you'll get a, a dot, say three squares up for a three volt battery, it'll be three squares up. Oh, okay, so it's like one volt per square. Exactly. So your negative electrons are being attracted to the positive plates. Which That's is at the, at the top. Which is at the top. Which okay. is at the top. Now, what we might do after that is turn the battery around. What do we think is going to happen? They go down. They go down. Well done, Mr. Perry. Instead of being attracted towards the top plate, now the negative electrons are attracted towards the positive bottom plate. So instead of getting a dot three squares up, we can see a dot on the screen, three squares down. Cool. Can you combine the X, y, X plates and the Y plates? You can, but the video's over. Oh, maybe, maybe <laughs> next time. <laughs> maybe next time, we'll have a look at that. Yeah. Oh, the video's still going. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, no. Okay. That, uh, yeah, that wasn't all the video. What the hell? Okay. All right, we'll do that. All right, so this seems to be about where we got up to uh, in the video we were doing at school. I'm now at home on my own, and with nothing better to do on a Thursday evening uh, than to narrate um, science videos for you, I'm going to continue uh, finishing this off so you guys know what's going on here. So basically what's been done here is we've changed the scale of the voltage to make that um, direct current supply uh, go up to a higher point on the graph. So we haven't really changed the voltage of the battery, but what we have done is changed the scale so it goes up higher. We can flip the battery uh, and we should see, I guess, that's going to move uh, down maybe this time? Or, no, I'm mistaken, this is moving the time base and the voltage at the same time. So now what we've got is our Y plates are bending that beam upwards and our X plates are moving it from side to side. So it's a little bit like the one we looked at earlier, but this time the beam is being bent upwards as well. So we've got that combination and we get our line at the very top of the screen. Now this is still pretty boring, uh, but it's gonna get interesting because I assume we're gonna put an AC supply on it. There you can see we've reversed the direction of the voltage and now we can kind of change the X plates and the Y plates in order to make the shape of the line however we want. Remember that whole line isn't there at once, it's just the electrons are being moved across the screen so quickly that we can see it as a single line. So here we're going to stick in an alternating current supply. There it is. Now this of course is going to make the voltage fluctuate up and down. And if we attach that to the Y plates, we're going to make the electrons move up and down. Meanwhile, the X plates are going to be moving them left and right, and we're going to get something interesting. 
So there we see the Y plates moving it up and down as a result of the alternating current being inputted. And all we need to do is move the time base now to move it across the screen. So you've got that constant movement up and down of the electrons. The very final example here, um, which should be shown in just a second, is going to be moving from left to right at the same time. And that's pretty much going to uh, wrap up what you can do with a cathode ray oscilloscope. So there you can see the 5 volts is shown there. Um, and if we just give it a second, I'm sure it's going to kick in. If it doesn't, I'm going to be mega disappointed. Here we go. Yeah, so now it's moving up and down, and it's moving left to right. And so overall, we're going to get that kind of sine wave shaped graph um, being displayed on our oscilloscope. So that's the combination of an alternating current on the Y plates and that sort of alternating current on the X plates, but the alternating on the current on the X plates is carefully controlled to move the electrons across the screen.